Hey, since Carol Vorderman left Countdown, has anyone seen her everywhere? No, 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 me neither. No, 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 no dreams, no reality, no, 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 no. Mr. Mega the Jester without makeup. Pastry chef on a Wednesday, a fine day to have a pastry chef. Pastry chef on a Wednesday, having a pastry chef is a lot like having a banana. You heard what I said and now I'm, go I'm going to stick with it. I wanted to do that to start the video off, just a random piece of bollocks. You know, because that, that, that's, no, we like random bollocks, don't we? Yes. And it was going round and round in my head and I, 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 I was wandering round the house singing that to myself for bloody ages and I sat down in front of the camera and it took me about six takes to take it no I'm not gonna show you the takes because I started the take and then I went back and went over and went back otherwise I would actually show you the takes with Glee yeah you know Glee? Glee! That's the, I, I, I think this is a face of Glee don't you think that describes Glee? It does, doesn't it? That, that, that is glee. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Look, you're, you're just being like that because you're gay. Uh, unless you are actually gay and, you know, and it's, it's not an insult to be called gay. Uh, in which case, you're straight. Uh, yeah, you're just being like that because you're straight, Mr. Gay Person. And you, Mr. Straight Person, you're being like that just because you're gay. That's right. And all, all the people watching this video, if you think you're straight, you're not. You're gay. And if you're watching this video and you think you're gay, no, you're not. You're straight. We're all just a bit backwards. This intro has gone on for far too long. Hello. Hey, God, it's, it's weird. I, if anyone's been watching the Jazz Hellier channel, I put out a video, my recent video. Um, it's called Hats, I think. It's about... Hats and, and and I in it I have three new rimmed hats that I have bought. Um, so why am I wearing this old boot? I'm wearing this old boot because I wanted to, and it is as simple as hat. <laughs> I should be on stage, but only as a spectacle. I tell you what, if you come with me, there'll be two of us up on stage, so people will look at us and go, "Oh look, look, there's a pair of spectacles up there." Should have gone to spec savers. Yeah, a bit, 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 bit bumpy, but I think I pulled that one off. Would you like to become a pair of glasses with me? We will sit on a snout, we'll be awfully close to snot, but at least we'll get the crappy joke out about, about spec savers, eh? B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z! It sounded like I said Y, N, Z. I didn't. I said Y and Z. Yeah, I, I do realise and isn't in the alphabet. There isn't an and between. Yeah, uh, go fuck yourself. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about, what I wanted to talk to you about, now, I know it seems like I've just been talking shit, but yes, I've finally gotten to the point now. I am old. Well, I'm not that old. I'm only 20... Two? I think that's right. Anyway, I, 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 know, I know my 21st birthday wasn't long ago, so I remember sitting there thinking, well... Isn't it interesting to be 21? It's like when you're younger, and, it, and it, I don't know if anyone was ever as overactive as I was as a child. I used to see people that were 18 and look upon them as gods. I'd look up at them and say, what's it like being 18? To which they would respond, uh, it, it's alright. Then I remember when I was 18, yeah, and somebody came up to me and asked me, what's it like being 18? Alright, but I've been thinking, I've been concerned about my cynical behaviour. Now this is it, I, I am a very, I, I, I'm a cynical person, I like complaining about things. It's not because I'm an angry person, it's just because I find my own entertainment in things that I say about things, if you know what I mean. E.G. One day I saw a hot air balloon, and 
and it was floating above the, the, the sky. Not above, the, in the sky. And, and, and I, I saw it. I looked at my watch. Well, I wasn't wearing a watch at the time. I looked at my phone, because that has the, uh, <laughs> the, the old numbers. The old numbers that tell you, tell you uh, to which part of the day you are taking part in at the current time. And it was four in the morning. It was four in the morning, and I thought, who the hell is just a science to go on a hot air balloon ride at four in the bloody morning and bearing in mind they were in there they looked like they'd been up in there for quite some time so did they get going at three in the morning who who does that who sort of oh we have to get up really early tomorrow we got to get up at half two why are you going on holiday no we're going on a balloon ride oh well, yeah that, that's gonna be fun isn't it and you can imagine them four in the morning up in this balloon just in the little box thing in the, in your little basket your basket cases just sitting there oh. Shouldn't really have got done this so early. I, 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 uh. And then you fall asleep, you fall off the basket, then you die. And the moral of the story is not to get into a hot air balloon <laughs> so early. Wait, wait till it's a little later. Wait until you can go up there and you can actually see people going around. Because otherwise, there's no point. Because if I was in a hot air balloon, I would want to see loads of people about so I can be in this hot air balloon and go, ah, 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 ah. I am the master of balloonery and you are the peasants. Not a good idea for me to be in a balloon. Uh, uh, not a good idea. Also, I have a balloon fetish, so I might just end up fucking the thing until I fall. I don't have a balloon fetish, that was just a weird joke. Literally, weird. Anyone out there have a balloon fetish? I, 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 I don't, um... Yeah, I, uh, I, we, we've all got our feti sooner or later, but, but I, uh, balloon fetish, yeah. Because, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah. Um, it, I think balloon fetishes are interesting. They are interesting because it means a guy who buys an inflatable woman is not actually lonely. He just wants an inflatable woman to because he likes balloons. Like he, he's. I mean, it's still a bit. It's a bit weird, but it's not as much lonely because you know most people that buy inflatable balloon people, they they don't have a balloon fetish. They just can't get a woman, so they they settle for the balloon. But the balloon fetish people would settle for a woman if there were no balloons around. I wonder if there's such thing as a balloon rapist. Imagine that you're sitting in a park. This is the clown just handing out balloons. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's like, ah, bye kids! And he just starts running because this guy just comes back and he's like, all right, bonkers, get back here! Maybe that's the wrong name to use for a clown who's, whose balloons are about to get raped. Bonkers. But bonkers is a classic clown name. And the moral of this story? I'm getting old. Yes, did you, did you, um, pick that all up? Hmm. No, you didn't. Anyway, basically, I've noticed I've stopped complaining about things as much as I used to. I know that's rich as buggery, considering, you know, the little balloon incident we just went through. But I've noticed that I've started approaching things a little bit more calmly. And that upsets me. That really up... Don't get me wrong. I, I know it's good not to be annoyed by things, but the, 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 the fact of the matter is that I was never annoyed. You see a comedian ranting on stage about something. Is he really annoyed? No, he's not. He's just trying to make some comedy. But I'm losing my cynical side. I'm losing my cynical side. I don't know. I, I can't find things that annoy me. I was watching videos of the KKK the other day and I just thought to myself, it's not their fault. They were born shit. I watched a whole, no fooling, I watched a whole episode of the Big Bang Theory the other day. I didn't feel angry. I didn't. I just, I felt sorrow. And I just thought to myself, can't argue it. That's, that's just what television's like now. We've all seen what television's like and... Shows like the Big Bang Theory are going to keep coming. I'm going to keep crying. I don't understand why they have to do this to me. Though I, I'm a good person. I wear hats. I'm oh, no, sorry. But... Worst thing of all, if you take a look at the my blog channel, Jars Helia, you will see in the favourites. Um, I favourite a Greg Solomon video, and I think that's the limit. So, to end this video, to save me from my loss of cynical behaviour, I'm going to call you 
all bastards and be done with it. Because now that makes me feel good. You're all bastards, especially you, the one with the fat head. Uh, so, yes, bastards, yeah, rotten fanny, small penis, horrifically short legs, asshole. Yes, that's, that's right. So, if you think I was talking to you, do something about it. My post video response. You want, do you want, do you want tube fight? I will tube you up, bitch and bastard, whatever you are. Anyway, see you guys later. Ah, uh, uh, it kind of looked like I sort of punched myself, didn't it? Who are you? Why don't you tell me?